What's up, YouTube? Welcome to new parenting training. So today we got an other uh, soul dispenser from Heidi Eon. So we have reviewed one of their soul dispenser back in January of this year. So it's been what uh, six, seven months, and this is the second one we got from them. And so today I'm gonna do an unboxing and just test it out, and also just compare it to the first one that we have uh, to see how much of difference, if any compared to that one. All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so this one came in the black and white box. Pretty nice design in terms of the color scheme and things. Keep it simple. Let's see, they also tell you that this thing is 12, can hold 12 ounce of fluid, uh, the type of material that they use. And also this one used four AAA batteries. So the one that we previously reviewed I use four double A batteries, so that's much is uh, a little bit different. Okay, so not much things in there. Uh, there is a user manual. I'm gonna read that later. All right, so let's see. This is the so the dispenser itself. It looks quite nice. Uh, it looks kind of like metal, but once you touch it, you know that it's just plastic but the color makes it very elegant. So on top, they tell you some tips, uh, such as you press the on off button, and if the light white is on, if the light yellow is off, and also if it continuously to blink four times in a row, that means it's low on battery. So that's a good indicator. So let me open this up. It's quite easy. Oh. So it's not twist. I mean, it's not screw on, it just, you turn, it's locked, you turn the other way, it's unlocked. So here we go. This is the base where you put the liquid and also tell you some troubleshooting guide on the back as well. So let me see how, oh, okay. You twist this cap to see the four battery where it's supposed to go. All right, let me get some batteries. All right. Four triple eight batteries. Let's see. All right, so this container can hold 12 ounces of fluid. Uh, gonna pour foam liquid. I'm not gonna pour it all the way to the top. Uh, as you can see, there's plenty of the liquid in here for me to test this out. And well, normally we just use this type of foam detergent uh, for our, our dishwashing. So here we go. All right, so now that I have uh, detergent in there, let's see how much it's actually coming out. So for this particular model, there's no setting of how much liquid gonna come out. So it's only uh, one standard set. Oh, okay, a decent amount. All right, so next what we're gonna do is just kind of compare to what we've been using, this older model. So as you can see, it's about the same height, but the older model, actually is uh, holds a little bit over 13 ounces so a little bit more than the current model now another thing is that uh, the newer model is actually what two to three dollars cheaper <laughs> than the old one now the old one used four double a batteries and we got it since uh, january of two, 2021 so right now it's in august so it's been seven months or so we use this to wash our dishes. So it's on the uh, daily basis. So a quick update about this model. We haven't changed the battery since day one. Even though on the instruction, it says it could last for like three to four months or so, uh, but it's been well over seven months and we're still using the same four sets of, uh, well, same set of four batteries in there. So the battery life is quite well. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can get the same amount from this particular model as well. All right, so now that we have the, them two, um, let's just kind of test it out, compare the two, because initially when I have the old one, I mean, I'm just using the old one for the first time. I don't really have anything to compare it to. 
Now this newer model, okay. So what we're gonna do is just put it side by side. Let me get some new containers. All right, uh, let me turn this thing on. All right, this thing is on. So, okay, now both these are on. Let me see. So this is on the regular setting that we have. So it doesn't come out all that much. And let me see this one. All right, so this is the amount that comes out. So it looks like this being set to like maybe medium size compared to this one. And also this, the new one is much quieter compared to the old one. The old one, yeah, this is a loud motor noise uh, in it. And the new one is very soft. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know, cheaper price, more elegant, and also quieter. <laughs> I don't know, this is no brainer. Yeah, the new one is much better uh, choice compared to the old one. And also I use, I would say less battery, but I'm not really a uh, battery expert, but four AAA instead of four AA batteries seem to be using less battery to me. So yeah, hopefully this thing can last as long in terms of battery life as the old one, because the old one is very impressive. And it's been seven months now and we still running on the same uh, four original battery that we use. Inside the manual instruction, it actually tells you how to clean your hands. So yeah, here we go. Let's try this out. <laughs> so some of the key feature I wanna mention here is that this is fairly fast reacting time and with a 0.2 seconds. Like the older model was 0.25 seconds. So yeah, this is 0.05 seconds faster than the previous model. Well, I mean, uh, I, I couldn't really tell the difference, to be honest. For the sensor range, it's from 0 to 5 centimeter or uh, 0 to 2 inches. And just keep that in mind. They provide you some tips like what kind of phone that you should use in this machine. Like one of the things that they, they keep mentioning is only using the foaming soap in this bottle. Now if you want to use hand soap sanitizer, that need to be diluted. One part of sanitizer with three parts of water. So otherwise it won't foam. And also if don't make sure you don't put stuff with high alcohol content in there. I don't think the tubing will handle it. Some other stuff is do not immerse the soap dispenser, especially the battery part in water or clean under running water. This will lead to short circuit. You should definitely not do that. Use a wet towel to wipe it down the outside. And also, if you're gonna replace batteries, make sure you replace all four at the same time. Don't replace one or two and then call it a day. Yeah, always, whenever you taking out old batteries, replace the entire set with the new ones. This will conclude the review for this particular model, the Z99 automatic hand soap dispenser. Until next time, bye.